G'day, Redneck to here. Today I'm going to install the plugin for vCenter after having just done an install of uh, Hyperflex on a um, an Edge device. As it turns out, I've done this in dCloud, so you'll see all the dCloud stuff here. Uh, it's not actually part of the dCloud lab, so if you want to know how to do it, or you want to do it in a real environment, this is how you do it. Now the trick here is that I'm working with Hyperflex uh, <clears throat> version 4.52 and I'm um, going to the, the the install process is a little different for version 4.52 than what it is for earlier versions 4.0 and stuff and the reason for that mainly is because you now get a restricted shell when you do an SSH to the storage control of VM so if I log in here as admin and use the C1 SC0 1 2 3 4 5 bang is the, the password on all of the Cisco Dcloud Lab uh, things here. So you'll notice that this is a restricted shell. And that makes life just a little bit harder. Well, maybe not a little bit harder, but just you just gotta take things a little bit differently when you do the install of the plugin. So first of all, uh, you will need the plugin. And I'm going to go and get that right now from Software Central. Uh, you'll see I've already logged in, so you need to log into to software.cisco.com, and you'll probably have to go and search for Hyperflex. But uh, once you've got that, uh, I'm using the 4.52, although the the plugin's the same for both. And I'm looking for the plugin. So let's do Control F. There's an awful lot of um, plugins, a lot of downloads here. So let's down this guy, get this like downloaded, accept the license agreement, and that's now going to download the plugin. So I don't get the plugin, and I don't install it through VMware Update Manager, right? So my uh, plugin should now be uh, downloaded, so it doesn't take long. And the next trick is that I've somehow got to get that plugin. Uh, from the local environment to this to this storage controller VM. The easiest way to do that is to use WinSCP. And so here uh, I'm going to... No, it's not going to work. I'm going to put the IP address in here, which is 998.18.133.1. Whatever this is over here. Uh, 100 right we'll do nicely okay so i'll just pick that up from here 100 and i'm going to use sftp i'm going to use username admin and of course the same password c let me see oh one two three four five bang uh, and that should now give me uh yes i love it and continue that's going to give me access to the uh, storage control VM. Um, I'm going to put this in the uh, temp directory, um, which is what's recommended in the in the um, in the lab guide or in the user guide, and uh, get this from where I saved it, which was on my downloads. So here is the zip file and I'm going to pop this over here in the temp yep. and now if I change directory to the temp directory hopefully I should see that um, hyperflex zip file there so there it is so there's my hyperflex zip file now this is where things get uh, a little bit tricky uh, I've got a zip file and clearly I'm going to have to unzip it so let's do that unzip there it is now watch when it unzips this it unzips a, um, another zip file inside that and the install vc plugin.py now the trick here is that you don't use that plugin.python there is already a install VC plugin in the path and you can find that INST just hit the tab key I hope if I can spell 
Uh, okay, that's it. You're just going to hit that install VC plugin. It's not the .py version. It's the one that's already on the system, already in the path. Uh, that's the plugin installer that you've got to run, not the .py. Now, on version 4, you use that .py one. You ran Python and you install it from that .py plugin there. 4.5, you run this one. And this is because of the unrestricted shell environment. So the storage password, C1, CO12345, shift. And the vCenter username is adminstrator. And password is C1, SCO12345, bang. And what that is now going to do is uh, copy this to both the ESXi hosts that are in this environment. If you had more than two ESXi hosts, if it was a not an edge environment, then it would uh, copy to all of them. So now I've got the 2.10 plugin has been now uh, loaded. When I go back here now, uh, with a bit of luck, I'll see a blue banner. There it is. It says that the Hyperflex has been successfully deployed. Refresh the browser to enable. And so let's hit that refresh browser. And being the lab environment, that's what I'll have. And now when I hit this menu, I've got the Hyperflex plugin installed. The first time you open it, and quite often if you ever get a bug with this thing, uh, you're going to have to come back here and, and re-scan. Well, it was scanning anyway, but I'm, I'm re-scanning. And it's quite acceptable for the first time that you want to use it. But with a bit of luck, I'll get a chance to finish this by showing you uh, a possible bug that you might have. And uh, it, it does seem to want to take its time to find that cluster in the plugin. While it's there, it is. So it's found the cluster there. Now, there's actually nothing on this cluster. Uh, it's brand new, uh, but I could go here and I could go and create a data store. There you go. New data store. Let's call it DS1. And let's make it a terabyte. And I like lots of storage. It, this is pretty dangerous. It probably hasn't got 100 terabytes on the two ESXi hosts that I've got there, but what the heck, I like lots of room. You would want to be careful to make sure that you actually don't make that bigger than what the actual storage place you've got, even though compression and deduplication is going to give you more than what you think you might have. All right, back over here at the hosts and clusters. Uh, I'll also see that plugin down here, all right? And what can happen is that the things that uh, should come up here don't turn up here. All right, so when I right click on a VM, I should get, yeah, see no actions available there. Now, probably for the storage controller there, and that makes sense, I shouldn't have any actions there, but if I had a real VM there, sometimes you get that no actions available again. If you, that happens to you, come back over here to the Cisco Hyperflex, <coughs> to this screen here. You may have to rescan. Uh, open up your cluster, check that it's all there, and then go back and try again. It should be okay. That's it from me. I'm out. If you need to do an install of the Hyperflex vCenter plugin, there's the process to go through. Cheers.